The guinea pig club was formed in 1941 by a group of allied airmen who have been treated at East Grinstead. Over the years, there were 649 members. Today, 80 years hence, there's only six survivors. McIndoe was a man that could see that uh, it wasn't only the patient with burns or other crash-related injuries, but he had to treat them as a whole and uh, got them out of society, mixing with people, making sure they stood on their own feet. But it's interesting, as I did 42 years in the theatre, there was a lot of things that he invented or in, tried out that still used and uh, are still not far away today. My name's Martin Bourne, Flight Lieutenant in the Royal Air Force. First got to know the Guinea Pig Club when the Station Commander RF Benson invited them up. Uh, I was invited along because the year before I was involved in an accident where I got severely burned. My time at the hospital basically was difficult. I think it's probably the nicest way of putting it. I, um, I, I, I was struggling in a sense, I was trying to recover. It was just trying to do normal stuff, trying to be a dad, trying to be a husband, trying to live. I had a roommate that was civilian, he was a, a contractor. We were going through the same kind of pain, same kind of treatments, all of which would have been driven from the treatment at East Grinstead from that time. So then the town became East Grinstead, the town that didn't stare. Quite a few uh, married girls in the East Grinstead area and uh, lived happily afterwards as well. Everything the Guinea Pig Club stands for and everything that they've gone through, those kind of memories, stories uh, and success should always be remembered. When it was 50 years old, they decided that it was about time that it should be disbanded. But at the annual general meeting, they all said, no, we're going to carry on until the last two can raise their glasses for what went on over the years. The RAF Benevolent Fund has always been supportive of the Guinea Pig Club and they've supported individuals um, back into society, if you like. And uh, we rely on their help whenever we need to for the welfare of the survivors or their families. I think now, looking back, I wouldn't even think twice about asking for help. And certainly that help came from the Benevolent Fund. It's a quiet support that we don't know until we need it. And we all need it.